<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Wolf Fang here. Today's Tuesday, July the 16th. Another hot day. That's all right, though. I guess. I don't know. To get used to it. It's summertime. Ah, the conspiracies just keep going and going and going. Ah, so. Uh, let's see. We got, uh, it was a staged shooting on Trump. Uh, um, it's his fault. Uh, what was the other one? I did my lunchtime walk about, uh, could this be another JFK conspiracy? Was there a second shooter that nobody's talking about? Like I said, it's, this shit's going to just go everywhere. So, yeah, I'm trying a background thing. I actually, uh, StreamYard's letting you try uh, their professional for a week for free. So, I'm going to play around with it. That's why you don't see the StreamYard logo. I have my own, but I'm not, I'm not spending. That's just way too much money. But I thought I would give this shot. You know, it's free. Screw it. You know, I'll try it out and see what I can do. Maybe I can learn something in a week. Anyway, uh, did I put? Yeah, okay. Let's get to the art. <clears throat> wow, excuse me. I'm going through puberty. <laughs> All righty. Uh, says Biden gets very combative. With NBC's Lester Holt in a sit down. Or was that a shit down? <laughs> the president took on still more questions about his debate performance. Why don't you guys ever talk about the 18 to 28 lies he told? President Joe Biden repeatedly pushed back at NBC's Les Holter in an interview. Bristling when talk, uh, taking yet another round of questions about his debate disaster. And it was a disaster. There are sometimes caustic exchange, including Holt relying, uh, relaying concerns by congressional Democrats who said of his performance, frankly, you appeared to be confused. Why don't you guys ever talk about the 18 to 28 lies he told 28 times? It's confirmed he lied in the debate, Biden told Holt. So I guess he's talking about Trump. I had a bad, bad night. I wasn't feeling well at all. I screwed up. It was <clears throat> one of several times he took on his interviewer in a sit-down arranged by his team before Saturday's assassination attempt on Donald Trump. I forgot to clear that part. And you can look at his photos. I don't want to look at photos. Holt pressed, <coughs> excuse me, Holt pressed him on his unusual admission at a press conference that he hadn't seen the debate that caused a flood of Democratic defection. He said he had seen pieces of his performance. I didn't have to see it. I was there, he said, challenging Holt again. And by the way, seriously, you won't answer the question. But why doesn't the press talk about all the lies he told? Nor would he accept Holt's uh, posture when the anchor asked him about Trump's proposition that they debate again before their next scheduled engagement in September to get back on the horse. I'm on the horse. Where you, where you been? I've been I've, I've done 22 major events since the debate, he said interacting with thousands of people. I'm on the horse. Isn't that a, uh, a term for a drug, too? He also took on Holt <coughs> and the media when asked about Trump's uh, selection of Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate. Holt wanted to ask about what Vance has said about Biden. 
Biden wanted to talk about the things Vance said bashing Trump back in 2016. And there's a, a video of that, too, because uh, Vance did uh, throw some words at Trump. See what he said about Trump. What's with you guys? Come on, man. He likes to say that, doesn't he? I feel safe with the Secret Service, he said. Sometimes come and talk to me about what we should be talking about, okay? The issues. Sometimes come and talk to me about what we should be talking, okay? Wow. All right. I had to read that again. After being slow to try to focus his attacks on Trump and debate, Biden made clear his calls for unity and turning down the temperature won't mean backing off on things Trump has said and done. I'm not the guy that said I want to be a dictator on day one. I'm not the guy that refused to accept the outcome of the election. I am not the guy who said that wouldn't accept the outcome of this election automatically. You can't only love your country when you win. And so the focus was <clears throat> on what he's saying, and I mean the idea, said Biden. On a day when Trump's uh, convention in Milwaukee played an ad of Biden repeatedly stumbling while boarding Air Force One. <laughs> Come on, man, that shit's funny. <laughs> It matters whether or not you accept the outcome of elections. It matters whether or not, for example, talk about how you're going to deal with the border instead of talking about people as being vermin. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what? Biden said his piece, his stuff too, and they're all, they're, they're all slinging mud at each other. Every last one of them. Uh, my issue with Trump when he was president was all the tweets that he was throwing out. You know, it's like he had, you know, and the other thing is, is Trump actually putting those tweets out or is he paying somebody to, to, to read all the tweets? And you know what your job is, is just put tweet, just respond to them. I mean, Trump's a busy son of a bitch. He was busy when he was president. So is he walking around like other humans on the planet, you know, just on his phone? Okay, I got this one. I don't know. But really, uh, Biden said uh, that Trump was uh, needs a bullseye or some bullshit like that. In other words, saying he... He should be shot. He's he's got a target on his back. He's a bullseye. But they, Biden was asked about it, and he beat around the bush. Made you know, made some excuse like they all do. So anyway, this is Wolfang. I've been rambling. Uh, have a great Tuesday evening. I think we're having spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tonight. That sounds pretty good. Anyway, like I said, everybody have a great evening. Blessed be, stay safe. And sit back and enjoy the ride. It's going to be real interesting. Peace. Oh, peace. My fingers were good. Bye.